Hello and equip more here and welcome to episode 19 of my vegan guide and first I want to tell um, I have some bad news and I'm really sorry for it. I was recording when I went through the whole act uh, one in Merciless and killing the boss and all of that and uh, I lost that footage and also I traded for getting some better weapons so I now have these awesome weapons which cost me like 3 chaos something like that. Uh, no it wasn't 3 chaos. This weapon here cost me 4 chaos. This weapon here cost me 9 chaos and they are both really really good. That's exactly what you want. But unfortunately I lost that footage. And uh, I was searching for... Uh, I just, uh, if you want to know how to search for getting these weapons, I just typed in the uh, maximum level requirement, 58, and attacks uh, per second, uh, 1.6, and DPS I went for 280. And by the way, you can find a lot more powerful weapons, like, let's see, I searched for 340. But then the price is going up quite significantly, but this weapon is just almost a godlike weapon. <laughs> but I just searched for, uh, you can actually search for, if you have uh, some chaos, you can search for a uh, 300 weapon, and you can see the price, and even on 3, uh, <laughs> look at that DPS, 288 in, D in DPS. But that is elemental DPS, by the way, as well. But uh, you can see that 300 DPS physical weapons are not expensive. I have this one, for example, 333, and that's only 45k as well. That's some chaos, but it's not that hard to actually farm to get that many chaos, so... But anyway, I searched for a 200ED physical DPS weapon, 100 sword. And then I find the weapons. And you can see the price is... that's like nothing. Like, uh, that is really, really cheap. So getting good weapon to this build is not hard to do. And you can see the weapon and uh, you can see that the weapons are not that expensive. And if we then search for unlimited uh, requirements, you can see we're finding... Uh, as well some quite good weapons here but let's continue at least and I by the way I went through a little, I went through almost half act 2 as well and I actually have leveled and when I leveled I took this dexterity note here because I needed it for the weapons I took these 30 dexterity notes here and I am on my way to take a blade of kerning and I also have taking a razor's edge and this sword damage notes here yes you know what I have been doing and actually find, which are really sad again, I don't have the footage for it, I actually find a battle, uh, battle talisman, so I went for this one, and I find it on the ground, so I didn't need to trade it. And my right now current DPS are, without any buffs, 28,000. But let's continue, and I have killed Alira by the way, and I'm going to kill all of the bandits in, uh, in Merciless, so that's that. I'm sorry. And by the way, with buffs, get rid of them. Oh yeah, I get some un I get onslaught right there, but uh, you can see how much damage I do with onslaught buff. Yes, so you know it. And I don't really remember how do I get onslaught buff, but uh, it was something that did it. <coughs> but because I missed all of that, we can actually maybe, yes maybe we can get to act free and perhaps ascend in uh, merciless so we can get even more powerful but that's just a maybe uh, let's see how we how much time it will take but i think i'm gonna cut here so i'm gonna, gonna go and uh, kill uh, well i'm gonna go and kill creatin and by the way before i doing anything else this weapon here what was already uh, like linked up, so I went for my uh, whirling blade here and put it here together with the uh, faster attacks and blood mage. So I now can just spam my whirling blade how much I want, I will never have to worry about running out of mana. But let's get to Broken Bridge. Uh, 
And now we are in Broken Bridge, so let's kill Kratin. He actually can give me a frenzy charge if I want, but I don't bloody care about that. And uh, we actually have one thing we need to do soon. And that is upgrade my bloody fire resist. You can see my fire resist here. I only have 18% fire resist. And that is really, 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 really bad. So, uh, I need to fix that somehow. But, and I have killed Alira, so let's go to wetlands, kill Oak, and then make our way to the boss of Act 2, and then we are in uh, Act 3, so we are getting somewhere now. And by the way, I'm level 60 right now. So now we are in wetlands. We gotta get a passive skill point here. Almost. Let's find oak. Here we have oak. I want to kill blue enemies. Blue enemies are fun. Didn't I have... Oh, I don't have any leaks activated. Let's do that. Let's take some talismans. Here we have oak. Hello, oak. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of you. And there we go. I'm doing so much damage right now. Did I get all of those? One, uh, that one, that one. Yeah, I have all of them. So I'm just gonna find a waypoint here, get back to town, get my passive skill point because I killed all of the. I killed all of the. Well, bandits, so I'm gonna get a passive skill point. Um, but right now I really need that fire resist fixed, so I'm gonna see if I can craft some uh, resistance on my Hopefully my amulets and maybe some of my rings Like this one should be a good uh, candidate for that but First, let's get a pass skill point Thank you and get a pass skill point and take some attack speed and light glitch By the way, that gives some good damage Let's go to my hideout, and if you are on this point of game and you're helping all of the masters, you probably have some, uh, have at least the basic crafting methods. So let's take a look at my uh, currency and uh, let's craft this one and get some fire resistance. Hopefully, we have some strain fear, which are always awesome. Tellians, and we have fire resistance. That is not a bad price. I have the currency for it. So actually, I take the cheaper one actually. Now we have 18% uh, resistance on that. We're getting 20% uh, resistance on that. And no reason not to actually do it on this one. Oh, I can't craft anything. Oh, actually, I can craft life. So let's, yeah. Actually, that one is not worth doing it on. I don't need to do that. Now my resistance is a lot better. It's not good yet, but it is good enough for now. I need to get uh, some decent, well, I am let I'm really happy with, but need to get some decent uh, rings, by the way. That's a lot better resistance than high SIV 18, so that was quite easy to fix. I have maxed out fire resist, which I really, no, I don't have, what, what I'm saying, I have maxed out lightning resist. That's what I'm trying to say. But I'm gonna cut here and uh, make my way to uh, to the boss so we have opened the seal and we are getting closer uh, actually this part of act 2 is actually in my opinion except this area I'm right now in Northern Forest it's a really tedious part actually when you're gonna you have such a long way to go to get to the to act 2's boss and I it's a little bit too long but well it's a lot of experience anyway on the way there, so never mind. Why do I help you? So I don't have time for that. But as again, if you are new to the game and this is your first character, help every mouse you can find. But I'm doing it now because I just need to wait some seconds. There we go. Well, ooh, the waypoint is up here. Well, I s actually, I'm gonna cut here and get all the way to the boss. And if something interesting happens on the way there, I promise. Ooh, a regal. 
I promise I will show you. So, uh, see you guys at the boss. So, we are, uh, I have finally reached the boss. So, let's uh, put up passive skill point here because I got a level. Get some more attack speed. Look at that, 40,000 damage. It's going quite well, actually. My goal on this character is to have at least 100,000 damage, but we will see. <coughs> yeah, you're so scary, Volo Soul. That lightning hurts. I don't care because you're dead. So now we are in Act 3. So now we are actually are getting somewhere. We are in Act 3 Merciless. And uh, I think when I'm level like 75, I think I'm gonna try to do the Duet Theory. <coughs> I'm actually more afraid of the Endgame Labyrinth than doing a normal Theory. Hmm, we have an altar right here. That explosion hurt. <coughs> Those crafting materials, I actually need them. Because you can see this one doesn't have any quality. So uh, let's get some even more damage. Do I actually have enough? No, uh, I don't do that now. That little uh, crafting I did on my weapon there increased the quality by 7, well, uh, 7 increased quality, give me 400 increased damage, 400 more in damage, so it's definitely something I want to do. I'm gonna see in my stash if I actually have what I need to actually make it to a quality, quality 20 weapon. Quality 20, Karen Crow, the most worthless donation card in the entire game. I don't think we're gonna pick it up. Actually, let's get to town. Well, as I said before, I'm thinking about should I try to ascend in uh, Merciless or not today? Could try to do it, but I maybe I'm a little bit too low life. Well, I have 3,000 life, which are quite good, even for this level. But if you're coming here also, and uh, just getting out the first time, you can't ascend because you don't have done the trials yet in uh, Merciless. So uh, if this can be accurate to what a new player would be, then I should actually not ascend. So... I don't. I actually think I need some more levels, so I think I'm not gonna ascend. But this is really tempting <laughs> to do it, but I'm not sure if I would be able to do it. So, well, I'm gonna wait to um, uh, when I have done the like the Imperial Garden, then I'm gonna ascend this character for it will be more accurate. What do we have here? We have some. I clicked in these uh, games because they have uh, quality on them, then I'm gonna sell them. Actually, I can do it right now. Let's sell these games here. That one, that one, that one. Uh, I'm selling that one. Need one more. Take that one. Yeah, we're getting a uh, game cutter's prison. So let's take that way so we get exactly. And game cutter's prisons are quite awesome. I have two of them, and they are actually quite rare. As you can see, I actually find some maps as well of these characters. So, as soon as we're getting access to the tunnel laboratory, we're gonna map a little bit. Let's put in all of our gear we don't, I don't currently need. The leak stones I'm gonna have with me. I'm gonna destroy that. I don't care about that. I just gonna destroy it. Do we have any crafting materials for my weapon? Yes, I have. So let's increase the damage of this weapon. <laughs> let's use some leak stones. Do 
There we go. Well, let's continue in Act 3, shall we? Let's go to the crematorium. By the way, I have one thing I want need to refund in uh, the past schedule, and I have one extra well note for uh, mana. Actually, I gotta show. I'm just gonna kill this and show what I'm talking about instead of just talking about it. If this enemy. But when I'm gonna send with this character in Merciless, I'm definitely going to have maxed out all of my resistance. Just in case. Alright, I'm gonna show what I talked about. I have this uh, Mana Leech note here, because I needed it before, uh, but when your damage increases, your need for Mana Leech are decreasing, and uh, this character should be able to sustain all of its mana needs by just this Life and Mana note here. So I want to refine this one and take it away and probably just put it on something like damage. Or life for that matter. Because I still need to take a little bit more life. So uh, I'm just going to take, uh, by the way, I'm just going to take uh, Blade of Kerning first. Then I'm probably just going to go for, actually I'm going to go up here. So I'm going to take uh, Constitution and then I'm also going to take Bass Arcane so that will be even more damage. So I have a lot of damage and life to take this tree. But for that I need to level, so... Oh, essence right here. <laughs> oh, this character is powerful. <coughs> well, that was uh, anticlimactic. So, <laughs> no, and not even a yellow item. Let's see, the crematorium should be close here. What's wrong? Well, I'm gonna cut here and uh, I'll see you guys when I'm at the crematorium. Here we have the crematorium and waypoint. Let's find the piety here. Volatile ice blood. Ouch. <laughs> well, uh, I get hit by something harder. So that's probably the reason I died, but that hurt. That one should have max out resistance. Could be a little bit more careful, but I think I got hit hard just before I killed them. That's why I died. Blind Rage, I actually want that one. I actually want to use uh, Blind Rage, so let's do it. Give you a smaller boost of damage and life leech, so why not? And as you can see, I can sustain it, I don't even take damage. Now we're getting Prince Shoshas. And attack speed. And even more life leech. And here we have Pythia. And bring it on Pythia. Oh yeah, Pythia, you did almost something. The Torment's bracelet. Let's go back to town, turn it in. So we get our passage clear to get to, uh, well, 
the sewers and then we're gonna get actually before we do anything of that we are going to uh, take two scouring orbs and we are going to purchase uh, orb of regrets so we can actually refund the mana note here and put it on something better like damage how much damage increase will this be without buffs for uh, 31,000 and 33,200 that's pretty awesome so let's get to uh, the sewers and uh, actually I think I'm gonna cut here when I'm making my way to the sewers and getting all of the boosts to get the passive skill point but first I'm just gonna show the tooltip DPS when I took that one with buffs uh, I'm starting to get closer to 50,000 damage now which are really really nice but uh, I'm gonna to collect all of the bursts and uh, I see you guys when I have done that here we have the last uh, burst I need, then we're gonna get a skill point. Oh yeah, tormented that one. Thank you. Now we can kill it. That was a lot of enemies here, by the way. But not enough. Which can just double the enemies, that would be so much fun. Let's get to battle front and then we're gonna get back to town. Invasion League stone. Actually, the Invasion League was fun. Hard as shit, but fun. <laughs> get that one. See if we can find. So let's get back the way I come from, came from. See if we can find a way to Battlefront. It should be close by here. Here we have some enemies. Oh, look at that. Invasion enemy. Oh, he hit hard. <laughs> that was a very hard hit right there. Should be here somewhere. Or right, here it is. Better front. Get to the waypoint, it should be here in the middle. We can stop bumping into these spike, spiky walls right there. Yeah, we have it. So let's get back to town and get a fast skill point and sell some items. I don't remember how long I have recorded now, but I think I'm gonna unfortunately end the episode right here because then we'll get too long and then I have the problem again with the uh, disk space. Hmm, that ring. No, I can't. This one give me more, uh, more resistance than this one. Wouldn't be that bad, but not good enough. I need, really need the resistance. And now we're getting another strength note here, which will increase our life a little bit and a little bit damage. And I think I'm gonna put some stuff into my. Uh, Stash tab and this character just have way too much luck. I just find the Chaos Orb or Chaos Orb. And I find this one as well, which give me like which will give me ten uh cartographers sizzles, so I think I horribly pronounced that wrong, uh, word wrong, but yeah. Anyway, I think this is for this episode. The next episode I got to hopefully kill Pyatia. Uh, and uh, we are going to try to ascend in Merciless. So things are going forward and we're getting closer and closer to the end game. Well, I see you guys next time and thanks for watching.